All right, guys, so here's a quick rundown on the euro. We've been talking about this area. These lower highs matter. Maybe we put the high in uh, last night up into 117 and a half. We talked about the intra, the intra month, the intra week high um, on the euro is here. 2015 at 117.12. Um, the market traded above that and you got to think that there's some long-term stops here and the big traders The big money. They're not going to trade on a 10 pip stop. They're trading on a 50 pip stop So when you look at 50 pips through 117.12, it's pretty much right in this area. It's exactly where the market failed last night On the smaller time frame You can see that Right here, uh, 117.76, I guess, was a high. But close enough. So maybe that was it, maybe not. We still, guys, we don't have on the same lines, we don't have lower lows yet. So this is the inverse of what we just looked at at Dollar Swissy. You don't have phase three yet, right, guys? We just made a phase what? What was this? Phase one? Phase two? It's just the other direction, but guys, what is this? It's a, is this a phase two higher high? Is it a phase three higher high? <clears throat> Camille, what would you say? Ed's, hey Ed, how are you doing, man? That's right. It's just a phase one higher high. Doesn't mean that this could be the, the head and shoulders, though, right? This might be the head. Maybe we'll see. Maybe, you know, that's, that's, you never know on a new higher high. It's so tough to call the top. But maybe if we make another lower high here around 117.10, that would start to look like the right shoulder of a head and shoulders, which is one of the four main ways you can top out but the key is going to be breaking these higher lows right here and then of course the bands it'd be nice to see those give away all right so <clears throat> along those lines we've been talking about the monthly chart and the euro very high cycle we got to finish out this week and then monday is the last trading day so we'll see how we close the month out but we're still playing a core short on the euro versus the dollar as well as euro pound. Like selling euros up here. This is the whole area where we're looking for a lower high. It doesn't mean we, we can't go to 120. Anything's possible. But the edge is to be short here still. And we'll see this monthly cycle is still not quite ready to roll over. And this, this monthly cycle does a great job. Big picture. Weekly level. I mean, it's all very clear. These 200 week, a lot of traders are going to have that on their screen. It's a big area. Weekly cycles high. You're even overbought on an RSI reading. So, um, the market from a positioning futures and options standpoint is still long. Maybe you. Um, I'm not really sure what's going to relieve that at this point. We probably need to go back through 116, 115 to start getting those guys off sides. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Um, so that's what I think about the euro.